Hi all, I wanted to do another comparison video for you. So on this side we have the Balenciaga Pom Pom in Mirio and we have the Balenciaga Day Bag in Magenta. So this bag is from 2005, um, this one is from 2010. They are both the regular, classic regular hardware, so that's the brass studs um, on both the bags. They're both super light bags. Um, when I considered getting a pom-pom, I ruled it out because I worried it might be too similar to the Balenciaga Day bag. Um, they are both huge bags that can fit quite a lot in and their size is quite deceptive because you can pull it out. They are really wide bags when you stretch them out and you realize just how much that you can fit inside. So what I thought I'd show you is the differences when I'm wearing them as well as what fits inside. This is the Balenciaga day bag and the Balenciaga pom pom worn side by side. So you can see they do look a little bit similar. Um, the handle on the day does give you a little bit more handle space if you wanted to throw it over your shoulder um, and that's always what I do with the day bag. You can hold it in the crook of your arm but with the one strap your option is to put it over the shoulder. With the Balenciaga pom pom it's a lot easier to have it handheld because the straps are shorter in the crook of your arm and also up on your shoulder as well. So while both bags aren't stuffed with the same amount I did try and get them filled with similar things so you could see what they look like when they actually have things inside of them. Um, especially for the pom pom it does change the shape of the bag quite a lot. So with the Balenciaga day bag it sags down with the pom pom it, the sides sag down as well. You can see if I pull the sides out, it's quite a wide bag. Even when I'm carrying it on the long strap, the sides don't pull out too much. You do have the ability as well to wear the pom-pom crossbody, which is my preferred way to wear it. And you can see it there. It looks even more like the day bag worn that way, just because they are a very similar, almost rectangular shape there. With the pom-pom as well, you do have the ability to change the shape of the bag again when you use the drawstring strap. Um, and even when you do that, it is still very easy to use the handles um, or the long crossbody strap. And it's nice that the bag gives you more options for ways to wear it, whereas with the Balenciaga day bag, with the single strap, you are a little bit limited by the different ways that you can wear it. So you can see that the pom-pom is just a little bit bigger than the day bag in terms of width. The day bag also has the rectangular base and the pom-pom has the circular bucket bag base. You can easily fit everything that I'd carry inside a day inside the pom-pom as well. So I'll show you that. So I have my usual wallet, my Louis Vuitton pouch, keys, a glasses case for sunglasses, um, my work pass, bus pass, my phone of course, and my hand cream. So that's what it looks like when the day is stuffed. Um, it sits really nicely. It's very easy to get things in and out, one-handed operation, and things don't go too far because it is the narrow rectangular base. It's very easy to, to get in and out. The downside is that it only has that one handle. Interesting thing to note is that the day bag, fully stuffed, fits inside the pom-pom. So you can easily see which one is the bigger bag there. <laughs> So everything that fits inside the day also fits inside the pom-pom. So you've got my wallet, um, a Louis Vuitton pouch, a coach pouch, um, keys, phone, sunglasses case, all fits inside and the day bag itself because the regular pom-pom is much bigger than the day bag. I hope you enjoyed watching the comparison and the review of the Balenciaga Day and the Balenciaga Pom Pom Bags. 
As you can see, while I initially thought they might be quite similar, they are very different bags. You can fit a lot more in the pom-pom um, than you can in the day bag, and because of the rounded base, it's very easy to search around for things, whereas in the day bag, things can easily fall um, underneath things, and it's a little bit harder to find just because it does have the narrower base. I'm not going to rush out and buy a pom-pom anytime soon. I love the day bag more. I do have three Balenciaga day bags at this point, so yeah, it's definitely one of my favourite styles from Balenciaga, but it's still fun to give this one a try to see the differences. I do think if you carry a little bit more, you probably like the pom-pom. If you like the ease of, or the functionality of wearing a bag lots of different ways, pom-pom is definitely the one for you. The only other thing to note is that if you're looking into buying one, the availability is probably more common to find a day on the resale market as it was such a popular style um, and it's made year after year, whereas the regular pompon has been discontinued so it might be a little harder to find. If you're looking for a huge bag that's lightweight, fits everything, you can carry it in multiple different ways, that's definitely for you. If you just want a quick, easy hobo bag that still holds quite a lot, definitely the Balenciaga day. Um, so I hope that answered any questions you might have. You can always just leave me a question or a comment below and thank you very much for watching.